Halle Berry gonna come to the Oscars with Snuffleupagus on her goddamn head talking about it's her natural hair? Girl, ain't nothing natural about that stiff ass wig. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came, and I to, came read. to read. In the beginning, Jimmy Kimmel, I was really hoping that I would not have to drag your ass the next day because these tone deaf ass remarks that you were making when the awards show started, I was kind of getting a little bit pressed and mad at your number two pencil built ass. Let me go ahead and read you something that he said. He said, there are millions of people watching right now and if every one of you took a minute to reach out to one person you disagree with, someone you like and have a positive, considerate conversation, not as liberals or conservatives, but as Americans, if we all could do that, we would make America great again. We really could. It starts with us. No, bitch. I'm not holding hands and singing kumbaya with you racist ass, bigoted ass, homophobic assholes. It's just not gonna happen. Um, if I need to drag your ass, I'm gonna do it. If I need to roast and saute your ass with my words, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to make sure that I can continue to silence your dumb asses. I'm going to make sure my voice is louder than yours. That's the only interaction that we're going to have, okay? If you do not view me as someone who is worthy of human rights, there's no reason for me to hold hands with your ass and skip along the yellow brick goddamn road. I am not going to let you fling me, my black woman, my LGBT community, blacks. I'm not gonna let you fling us off the goddamn cliff when a lot of times the only things that y'all care about are the things that affect you directly. So no, bitch, I am not going to have tea and crumpets with you hoes. I'm going to drag you, bitch, and it's just that simple, ho. A lot of times growth isn't all pain-free and protests can be very disruptive and get you hoes to think, so that's that's simply what my ass is gonna do. You're gonna have to deal with it. America has this policy where they say they don't negotiate with terrorists, neither do I. I think though, aside from his dumbass, tone deaf ass remarks, I think that Jimmy Kimmel was the least corniest host that we've had when we talk about award shows, Grammys, whatever. I think that out of this whole award season, he really, his humor was less corny than these other hosts out here. Like for example, when he went up there and called Meryl Streep overrated, just because he knew Donald Trump was out here being pressed like a damn whoopee cushion. She got a cute little standing ovation. If we uh, move on, we see that Jimmy Kimmel live tweeted Donald Trump, bitch, and the tweets actually went out when it was on the stage. It was hilarious. Did y'all notice the New York Times ads and the Google ads? These hoes are not playing with you. It's like everybody who was in charge of the Oscars programming was just like, girl, the theme of this show is gonna be very political, bitch, so y'all hoes need to come get y'all asses together, bitch. And New York Times, especially with that ad that showed up, bitch, essentially dragging the shit out of Donald Trump, and I'm here for it. I want to talk really quickly about Taraji and Chanel Monet. There was no reason for their asses to come out here just look as amazing as they did. Taraji's leg was out, looking like a sexy ass slice of meat. I wanted to be salt bit and sprinkle some sparkles on her ass, which I don't understand. And then Jan Janelle just coming out here looking like a sexy ass goddess in that sparkly ass dress. Y'all hoes don't understand what the fuck I mean when I say black beauty, bitch. Black girl magic, because that's exactly what it was. Now, I touched on it earlier, but we're going to have to talk about Halle Berry's goddamn wig. She was out here lying to white media talking about, yeah, girl, I decided to wear my natural hair. Girl! Whatever was on top of your head was not your goddamn natural ass hair. Bitch, that was a shake and go, bitch. I am upset at that synthetic ass. There's no reason for your ass to be out here looking like an upside down ass mop. Girl, I just, there was no reason for you to lie like, girl, we couldn't fucking tell. All of black Twitter was dragging your ass like, girl, we know that shit is not uh, your fucking natural hair. We can. Bitch, where the fuck's your hairline? I just don't know what the hell's going on. Halle Berry, you really fucking tried it, and they really shaded your ass when you walked on the stage and they was talking about I will always love you. They played I will always love you while I was over there trying to present awards and shit, bitch. If that wasn't shade in and of itself, because they told your ass that you had on a badass Whitney Houston wig, that shit was bad. That shit was horrible, girl. Take that back to whoever gave that shit to you. You need to find a new hairstylist again. Fire whoever, because that was treason. That was betrayal that they let your ass out here look like something from the Muppets like you just came off of Sesame Street girl Halle Berry Halle Berry so Casey Affleck won an Oscar for playing Casey Affleck in a film I'm not understanding uh, what's going on there I also don't understand how people can be fucking around with sexual assault and still up there winning awards over people like Denzel Washington but I'm going to let that rest just like how he let his barber rest the way that his hair is looking like somebody's caveman type of tease he looks like he might smell a bit I'm going to need for his ass to not only take a shower but also to take a class on how to not not assault people. I wasn't here for that. So some other things I thought was cute, they were shading Matt Damon the whole damn time. And I also need to shade him as well as Scarlett Johansson. A lot of these people want to be Asian so badly. If you hoes don't start giving these 
roles to people who actually need to be represented in media, I'm going to continue to shade you, Matt Damon, just like they did at the Oscars, bitch. They was playing the music while you were trying to speak. That shit was funny as fuck. But yeah, that's the only grab I had with you, girl. So the Iranian director, Asghar Rahadi, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, was absent in protest of what's going on in America. I think he won the award for best foreign film, if I'm not mistaken. In keeping with the air of protest and social justice that the Oscars was trying to promote using their platform, he decided that his ass was just not gonna show up and let you hoes know that girl, y'all are doing some dumb shit. He did it for all the people who don't really have their voices heard that often and for all the fucking refugees and shit like that. The Oscars in general was an interesting contrast to what the Recording Academy served up at the Grammys. In the Oscars, I kind of saw a lot of representation. I thought that the films that they picked told actual stories and they deserved to be there. All of them except La La Land. I'll get on that in a minute. Let us talk about the sickening queen. The amazing woman that is Viola Davis. Let me tell you something. Viola Davis could pull out a damn phone book and read that shit to me and I would get my damn life, bitch. I don't know. She needs to read some type of bedtime stories, bitch, because I will buy them audio books and go to sleep like I'm a little kid, bitch. There's no reason for her voice to be this immaculate. Whenever she opens her mouth, everybody just shut the fuck up and listen to what the fuck she said because this woman can get on there and talk about fixing cars, bitch. She can talk, she can read me a recipe out of a cookbook and I would still be like, bitch, you bitches couldn't even get half the emotion that she does while reading off directions, bitch. I want to contact Apple. I want to contact the creators of iPhone to tell them, like, bitch, you need to get uh, Viola Davis to do your Siri, bitch. Because I would, I would just be pressed. I'm just saying, hey Siri, for no reason, bitch. I would not be pressed if Viola Davis was my Siri. I want her ass to tell me, turn left, turn right. No, bitch, you better stop. That's a stop sign. Bitch, I want her voice. She went up there and said some cute ass. I don't know how she knows what to say all the time. She knows exactly the words to say. She moved these people to tears with just a speech. She's immaculate. She went up there and won for her role in Fences, and I'm here for it. I think she's the only African American woman along with Whoopi Goldberg to win a Tony and an Emmy and an Oscar. I'm here for the representation. She, she says she exhumed those bodies. She wants to exhume those stories of the underdog of people who have loved and lost, bitch. She said of people who haven't had their voices heard. She said she's gonna get up there and show you hoes. And not only did she do that, but she looked like spilt ass blood, bitch, because she's coming for your jugular. She looked like spilt ass blood in this red dress, bitch, and these shoulder lips. Bitch, I said, girl, you did not have to come out here and snatch me like that. Viola Davis look good as fuck now, bitch. So, Mahershala Ali, I read somewhere that he's the first Muslim to win an Oscar. Is that true? I don't know if you know if that's true. Let me tell you how he looks like a fine-ass glass of dark chocolate-ass goddamn milk. He went, oh, bitch, and I can taste it now. Oh, my God. He went up there looking like a fucking chair, bitch, because I want to have a seat on whatever body part he lets me, bitch. I want to play musical chairs with, I want to sit down. You hear what I'm saying? Mahershala Ali went up there and won for Moonlight, and I'm just like, bitch, I'm here for my LGBT ass representatives and allies out here giving us a platform, bitch. When you're coming from it from the business side, it is very important too because it shows these white ass directors and CEOs and shit like that, producers that, hey, stories about minorities and stories that are authentic and relate to minorities, they have the ability to make money. They, like, bitch, y'all just have to invest in this shit. Y'all have to give opportunity. Stories cannot be told without opportunity. So I think that while sometimes I'm not here for how our black ass is go up there and just thank you so much I've been, I just, oh my god I understand the Oscars importance I understand the importance of being awarded like that so I'm hoping that people's eyes continue to be open and y'all start to give merit opportunity and resources to all these people these underdogs who have great stories to tell it's just that maybe certain executives don't see it as money making get y'all head out of y'all asses bitch we're moving forward we're progressing there are different stories to be told get information here come Jimmy Kimmel's ass joking around talking about black people save NASA and white people save jazz. Girl, white people couldn't even save themselves from their own body odor, girl. Them black ass moors, M-O-O-R-S, bitch, look it up, had to come out here and teach these hoes how to bathe, these European... So, girl, white people didn't save anything, girl. They might have stolen some shit, they might have appropriated some shit, whitewashed it, and used it again for profit like they did with this jazz movie, but bitch, that's about all they goddamn did. Let me tell you something about awards, and I explained this to my friend. I don't think that it's outstanding that you hold
host built an industry, made the rules, you made the rubric for this shit, and then you're gonna turn around, do an award show that congratulates you for doing well in the industry you created do, using the rules that you fucking made. That's not outstanding to me. What's outstanding to me is when someone with the, all the cards stacked against them make good ass fucking art as opposed to y'all appropriating ass bullshit. It's not amazing to me that you hoes wrote the test and now did well on it and now bitch you want a, you want a trophy for that shit? I'm not impressed by your ability to do well in a court that you built. Bitch, you get out of here. So that's why La La Land, all these nominations and shit really had me fucking pressed. I think Arrival should have been awarded more if we're being honest. White people saving jazz. I, there was a scene, I didn't watch the shit at all because that shit looks like some Clorox bleach type of shit. Like, I don't want that shit getting on my black card. The scene that they played in the Oscars of Ryan Gosling talking to Emma Stone talking about, oh my God, and look, he's just doing this shit. He's describing people playing jazz and how they played it. Oh my gosh, and he's just changing. And when he hears this, he moves over here to the next key and he does this shit. Oh bitch, white people are getting so shook at something called improvisation. Bitch is sitting out here explaining improv and I'm just supposed to say, oh this is so groundbreaking. Like bitch, we've been doing this shit. Get this bullshit out of here. So when it initially won best picture, I was like, girl, Oscars, you were doing so good. You had a diversity up there. You awarded people who needed to be awarded. So I was like, girl, you cannot accept this white mediocrity as opposed to literally any other movie that has been that had been nominated, girl. I did not want La La Land to win at all, bitch. I'm gonna tell you that right now, I don't give a fuck. I didn't want that bullshit to win. There were other movies that were nominated that were just pure art and well done. And this fucking appropriating ass weird bullshit bitch is just too triggering from Elvis Presley stealing black artist shit and re redoing it and making money off of this shit. It's just like, girl, this system of fucking taking shit that we couldn't live off of and y'all demonize and, and revamping into something that's easier for white consumption and making money off that shit. That shit was too triggering for me. I said, bitch, I want another story to win. And I was like, bitch, y'all were doing so well. So I just took the L, bitch, and I turned the fucking TV off. I said, girl, okay, I'm done with the awards. Let me just do a review on the shit. But girl, when I was checking Twitter and shit, they said, well, girl, something happened and someone picked up the wrong envelope and dumb bitches said, girl, Moonlight had won. I said, ah! Thank you! Thank you! Bitch, yes! Bitch, I am here for it. This is big for the LGBT areas of film and movies and shit. This is big. Now, yes, I do think that our black gay asses need to make sure that we exalt those awards and nominations that come from institutions that we built so that eventually we can, we too can become the industry standard. But this really is a step forward in the right direction. Progress has been made. I'm here for it. And I think the director comes from my alma mater. So, bitch, I'm winning two times, whole Black, gay, and bitch come from FSU. So it's like, girl, girl. Happy as hell. Moonlight was such a unique story. It told the story of black LGBT and it told about toxic ass black masculinity in certain communities in a way that I, I don't think has ever been done before. I really appreciated it. As Justin J said, it proved that we don't need a sex scene every five minutes in a gay story for it to be authentic, okay? 24 hours of our lives as gay men are not about having sex, bitch. We are whole human beings, believe it or not. We have likes and dislikes and passions and we can create art and we create culture bitch there's so much more to us than our goddamn dick so I'm glad that sexuality was a part of our story and was not the only thing that we're about in Moonlight for these other web series and these other movies and shit like that if we want to watch porn we can go to my and pornhub.com girl but if we want to talk authentic stories that we can relate to that touch our hearts I think Mo Moonlight combined all of our insecurities our fears our desires our passions into one perfect film and I'm glad that it received the awards that it did and lastly if we're gonna end this on Moonlight. If any of you have Trevante Rhodes' number with his fine black ass, you can go ahead and pass it on to me. Ask him to give me his number. If he says that he's straight or whatever, he can't really fuck with me like that, I want you to go ahead and remind him that my first boyfriend was straight too. Have a good evening.